The Catholic Relief Services together with Caritas Ghana is in solidarity with the church and vulnerable populations committed to actively stop the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. The groups through its APIMA project is embarking on an intensive information dissemination campaign to help address the social, cultural and traditional norms that discourages laid down protocols about COVID-19 in migrant communities within the Bono East region. Samuel Zan Akolgo is the executive secretary of Caritas Ghana. With the outbreak of the pandemic, uh, we're trying to mainstream uh, activities in res response to COVID-19, to all our programs. And so we also have a program for public education. So you can see that there are posters. We have developed, uh, you know, posters that are not just targeting um, technical information to people, but information that can lead to behavior change. We call that social behavior change communication. The team also donated personal protective equipment worth over 10,000 US dollars to complement government's efforts in combating the pandemic. Uh, we're doing this in the context of the comprehensive response to COVID-19 that has been defined by the Ghana Catholic Bishops Conference. So <clears throat> perhaps the PPEs that we are donating, and by the way, Everything we have donated here is worth uh, about 56,000 Ghana cities, which is about 10,000 uh, US dollars. David Poide is the project manager of Catholic Relief Services. He tells me that the target is to cushion health institutions that are currently overwhelmed with the fight against the pandemic, plus extend support to vulnerable people in the community. We realize that the health facilities are currently, you know, overwhelmed, you know, and um, they have a, a lot of issues here and there. They have to attend to normal patients. They also, also have to look out for COVID-19 patients. And so we thought, that, okay, we, we, we are better off providing, you know, uh, the necessary supplies that these health facilities would need. And of course, why do you choose Bono uh, East? Bono is because, I mean, uh, we have a lot of uh, at-risk communities, you know, poor and migrant and vulnerable communities. And we thought it was important for us to be able to provide support to these at-risk communities so that should there be any uh, outbreak, you know, we should be able to contain it. And then, of course, whilst we're also preventing, you know, further spread. With a ban on religious gatherings still in force, addressing the people in masses remain a difficult task. The church is therefore engaging individuals to extend the message to the masses. Reverend Father Techia Joachim is the Techiman Diocesan Development Officer. Uh, the church has always used the pulpit as a means of educating and uh, the Catholic faithful Almost every Christian or even religious person listens to their leaders and they understand what the message they give. And in this area, in our inability to engage the faithful, we have resorted to the, uh, the information centers and the FM stations. And at the local level, we're able to engage them by one another. If you're able to convince somebody on this, you are sure that he will be able to go and convince others. And also to give them hope. Many of times we have been focusing on the negatives, but we also also see the lessons that uh, COVID-19 is giving us. And using the traditional way of interpersonal communication, we are able to at least reach some of them, if not all. Reporting for Joy News, Anas Sabit, Techiman.